Hello everybody and welcome to another installation tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to install Microsoft SQL Server 2014 Express. The first thing you'll need to do is click on the link in the description of this YouTube video to find the direct link to the, inst or to the download page. Once on the download page, make sure Express is clicked at the top right and then click on Download SQL Server 2014 Express. You'll have to have a free Microsoft account in order to sign in and download the software required. If you don't have an account, go ahead and click in Sign Up Now right here. Otherwise, go ahead and log in. Once logged in, you should go ahead and see that it may ask you for some personal information like your name and email address. We're going to be clicking on the Express with Tools option. So once we're there, then make sure everything else is filled out and go ahead and click on Continue. Alright, now we need to figure out whether we're using a 64 or 32 bit operating system. If you're on Windows 8, go ahead onto the right side and you should get the charm bars. Click on settings and then PC info. You'll see the system type will show you the operating system. It'll say 64 32 bit. If you're on a Windows 7 or below operating system, go ahead and go to the start menu, find computer, right click it, and go to properties, and you'll get this window. And you'll see here I have a 64 bit operating system, so I'll go ahead and select 64 bit. Go ahead and check the language that you prefer and hit continue. Your download should immediately pop up so go ahead and save that somewhere where you can access it. Um, it is quite a big file it's around 850 megabytes so it probably will take you a little bit longer than normal to download. So go ahead and uh, get something to drink this may take a few minutes. Alright well now that that is uh, downloaded we'll go ahead and run it. It's a pretty big file, so give it some time. This is going to extract the can, all the files necessary to install to a folder on your desktop. So go ahead and hit OK. This part shouldn't take too long. Alright, once that goes away, it's going to be loading the installation. This can take a few seconds, so don't worry if nothing pops up right away. There we go. Alrighty, so now we're going to click New SQL Server Standalone Installation. Give this another second to load. Depending on how old your computer is, this process of loading uh, each step could take a little bit longer for you. Don't worry, that's normal. Alright, go ahead and accept the license terms and hit next. It's going to go ahead and check for any updates necessary. We shouldn't need any because we just downloaded the file. Alrighty, so we can leave everything here as is, unless you'd like a local database. We're going to be connecting to the school's database, but I'll use it just in case the teacher wants me to. It's not going to hurt anything. So we'll go ahead and hit next after selecting local database. And if your list looks a lot shorter than my list, it's probably because you didn't do the download which was also with tools. So make sure you go back in this video and select the one I selected. This is going to be the named instance of your database. You can leave it as SQL Express or you can change it, but I highly recommend if you don't know what you're doing at this point to just leave it alone.
All right, you can leave this all the same and hit next. And you can hit next again. This is going to be uh, a little bit longer process. This is going to be the installation portion of the video. So just go ahead and sit back. This may take a few minutes. Alrighty. Well, now that the installation is done, and it was a long installation at that, um, you should get a long list of things, and status should be succeeded on all of them. Alright, once we're done with that, go ahead and close, and we'll go ahead and make sure we have the necessary tools. So we'll go ahead and take a look and see what was installed. Alright, so what we're going to need is the SQL Server 2014 Management Studio. That's what we're going to be using um, in class to basically do everything you'll need to do. So I'll go ahead and open up that. If you're on a Windows 7 computer, you probably just open up the start menu, go to all programs and find find the new, uh, find it in there somewhere. You could pin it to your uh, taskbar, you could create a short desktop shortcut. Um, so now we need to connect to a server. So what we need to do is take a look at the email that was sent to us. Um, you have to check your NHCC email. You're going to get an info letter from Ted Volk. So if you scroll down, you're going to see we need a few things here. So database engine this is going to be a server type. It's going to have an IP address for the server name. And there's an authentication. So once we have that IP address, we'll go ahead and we'll switch everything over real quick so what you'll do is you just keep a database engine the server names could be 134.29.150.250 authentication you're going to switch down to SQL server authentication so now you're going to need to find a second email that was sent to you um, it's titled WS-BUS. Inside that you're going to have a two pieces of information. You're going to have your login which will start with DBA and then a number. And you're going to have your uh, password as well. So go ahead and type those in right there. And I'd recommend remembering the password unless this is a school computer. Hit connect. Alrighty, so the only thing that's going to happen here is at the top left you're going to see um, that it's connected to the that long string of numbers and it's going to have the five boxes right here. So you should have a database if you open this up called student course and then a number after that that is the same exact number in your username, DBA something number. So as long as you got to this point here you're good to go. Your installation is 100% successful, you're able to connect to the server, and you're good to go. So make sure you keep those login credentials. Um, I don't know if there's a book required, I'd keep them in your book, something like that, just because you'll need to use them to log in every time you go to class. Alright, well if you have any problems during the installation, go ahead and leave a comment in the video below, otherwise contact one of the peer tutors or come to the information uh, sessions that we'll be holding on Monday and Tuesday. Alright, have a good one.